How to train short-term employees in complex systems of archiving veterans collections at the Veterans History Project at CCSU in New Britain, Connecticut. This is a very brief tutorial just to get organized in my thoughts and in the process of conducting this training. The first step in the training process is how to make a video log. A video log is simply a log that follows a discussion of the interview. It does not, it's not a verbatim sheet. It's simply a log that covers all the key things in the, the interview. Key highlights, making sure to note names, um, locations or unit details if they use them, make accurate time hacks, um, make sure spelling and grammar are correct in the video log, and look up words you don't know. Vietnam and Korean towns can have some pretty weird spellings. So the next thing that we do that we need to instruct the new employee on is how to do the digital file, how to set up the digital file to store all the papers, documents, videos, um, everything that the veteran might have provided for their collection. Um, these files have to be set up in a certain way. This ensures that everybody, anybody can work on the collection and understand how to maneuver within it and where to find what. Files must be exactly the same. Um, when anybody goes into the collection, it's easy for each person to understand that, and that, that's why it's important that they're all the same. We do not need different people doing file setups in different ways. So once we know how to set up the file system within the computer, it's important that we know what makes up the collection. What can go into that file system? Uh, the things that go in there include pictures, as you see here, a photo on the left. That is a military type picture. The photo on the right is not a military type picture. The Veterans History Project does military oral histories, not their whole complete family histories. So it's important that we use the right documents, pictures, uh, military orders, everything that goes into their collection should be military, of military relevance. As you see here, there's a picture of me working in a track, and there's a picture of a marriage certificate. Marriage certificate should not go in there. It would not be a part of it, unless he got married while he was in the military to a military bride. Okay, so we use Excel where we input, that's where we put in all the material we got from the veteran. Uh, pictures, uh, documents, publications, everything we got from the veteran we input in Excel uh, using the different tabs as you see down here at the bottom, the different tabs. Um, we use that Excel because it helps us to eliminate repeated work because a lot of things we put in several different forms. It also makes sure that all the elements are the same. When we have a description of something in three or four different places, it's always the same. Uh, mistakes are easy and quicker to fix, and we don't want to make mistakes, and help to keep, it helps to keep everything organized. This is important. So the next thing is how do we process documents, photos, etc. They all, etc. ETS, I like that. Um, all the documents and photos have to be processed in a certain way. The way you set up your files in the computer dictates where each thing goes, whether it's a picture, whether it's a document, and it's a publication. Uh, it's all dictated according to the file system that you set up. Each type of item has a place just for it. And the publications must be treated, and we must give each publication the proper credit. All pictures of captions, notes, names, dates, locations, and activities, and everything has to be scanned into the correct locations. This is very important. So this is where the Excel sheet really gets interesting for us. We're going to merge, after we put all that data into the Excel sheet, we're going to merge it into specific Word documents. Specific documents like a photo log, the manuscript data sheet. Before we started using Excel, we used to have to type all this up multiple times. Rather than typing it all up, now it's in Excel, we can just copy it over. And the Library of Congress requires specific documents to track the veterans' documents. And we use those, that, such as a manuscript data sheet. Um, all documents, publications, videos, maps, etc., all have to be in a manuscript data sheet. 
The photo log is another form that we merged with that has all the photos in it with all of its instructions, all of its uh, description, and so forth. And this is all automatically merged from the Excel sheet. Our inventory sheet that we must create is also created in Excel. We don't have to retype everything. It's all done automatic just by once we put everything in to begin with, then it automatically will help us to create our inventory sheet. So the inventory is a fairly quick and easy thing to do. Uh, it includes everything that's in the collection. Everything. The, the pictures, uh, the interview itself, the, it's just a document that tracks and shows everything that's in there. So as you can see, it's very important that it is in, that it is accurate and accurately reflects everything that's in the Excel sheet and reflects what's actually in that doc in that uh, collection, that veterans collection. So now the next thing is the interview, um, which is actually the first thing we do in the collection process, but it's not the first thing that will be taught. Um, it's later that it's taught because we don't throw new people straight into the interview. Uh, we want them to understand what the process is before we actually have them go out and interview a veteran. Uh, the interview is a oral history of military experiences. It's only the veteran. It's not uh, a lot of times they want to have a, a spouse or some family member or someone in there as part of the interview. Only them. Must be at least 30 minutes long or longer have to know how to set up the proper equipment, avoid mistakes, because you can't redo an interview. You can't re-catch that interview. I mean, once it's done, you've missed it. So mistakes can't happen. So once you've completed your interview, you come back to the office. You're going to process that video. And you need to take that video, and you need to burn it to DVDs. And we also need to put it on YouTube so we can share it with anybody, historians, people who want to see these uh, military histories. And we uh, give DVDs for, for the veteran. We give the veteran DVDs. We also give the Library of Congress has copies of the DVDs as well as the CCSU Library. So as you can see, these, these interviews are very important and it's important that they're done correctly. Um, and the last thing is we make sure that we back the raw footage up, back up of the raw footage onto our backup drives. We have all the veteran interviews that we've done. And the last thing that we will train you on is your final inspection, your quality control that you're going to do before you turn your collection that you've completed over for to be inspected and, and to be ready prepped to go to the Library of Congress to be archived. Um, this is a big important step that you need to go through and make sure you critique, you follow the critique sheet and do the entire critique because it's much easier for everybody if you find any problems that you might have. Um, if you follow the sheet precisely you will not have any problems with this. So this is a, a basic outline of how the training will go uh, and in the order that it will go. In each one of these steps we will definitely break it down and make it uh, very, very down and dirty. Thank you.